Golang's built-in slice type is amazing, but the problem is it does not have any functionality attached to it. And that's why we are gonna build our own generic list data structure. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is create a new folder and I'm gonna call this generic list. And the reason why I'm calling it generic list is because if we use list, it could conflict with the container list package in standard library. So we're gonna create a new file, a generic list go. Uh, we're going to say package generic list and then we're going to make a type and it's going to be generic list like this and we should specify uh, it's going to be a generic list right so we're going to specify t which is going to be a comparable like this and it's going to be a struct and let's close the the folder thingy all right, so what what, did, what are we going to have? I think data is going to be a slice of t, right? And let's make a constructor. It's going to be func new. And we need to specify our generic type. It's going to be a comparable like this. And then we are going to return a generic list like this. What's going on here? A generic list. And we're going to say return generic list like this and we need to specify the types the generic types which is basically t and in this case also t and i'm going to say data is going to be a slice of t and we're going to instantiate it like this construct it like that all right so the first thing our list is going to have uh, is one of the most important things is basically um generic list insert so we're going to make an insert function which is going to be a value which is t and we're just going to say l data equals uh, append l data and then the value and we are already done so the next thing we're going to say is uh, l generic list and we're going to say get which is basically get by an index so we're going to say the in the y is going to be an integer and it's going to return us we have two options or we're going to return the value and an error or we're we going to return only the value I think I'm going to return only the value here, so which is basically t, and just panic out, right? Uh, for the sake of simplicity, you can choose. You are the Bob Ross of your painting. You can choose whatever you want to do with this function. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is check if y is bigger than the length of our data, minus 1. We're going to say panic uh, like this. And we could say something... Um, given index is too high right and otherwise we could actually loop and we're going to say loop me over the length of l data and if y equals uh let me quickly check yeah we need to make this iterator because otherwise we're going to conflict and if the y we give it if the index we give it is the iterator we can actually return or value which is going to be l data it like this and otherwise we can say panic actually this in this this will to be honest never trigger but hey we're going to say panic um what's going on here maybe value not found or something but to be honest we will never trigger this what is going on here uh generic list get i think we made a little mistake here that's all right only there are no mistakes only little happy accidents all right uh, let's maybe already test this real quick so we're going to say func main in our main function we're going to say uh, g list is going to be generic generic man generic list uh, new and we need to specify what kind of list let's say we're going to make a list of strings and then we can say g list uh, insert uh, let's insert bob rather and also do a couple other things maybe foo and bar right so then we can say f print fmt print f and we're going to print out super verbose which is basically percent plus v and a new line and then our g list all right so let's do go run main.go up. and we see we have a new list it's bob foo and bar amazing so the next thing we need to do is basically uh remove something from a list right because that's why uh the slices in golang are, are very good but 
not good enough because we cannot actually remove something from the slice without doing uh, a lot of boilerplate. So we're going to say L, generic list, um, remove, and maybe we should say remove by index, which is an integer. And we could, again, we could do a lot of things in this remove uh, function. We could say, um, if we call remove and it's actually removed something, return the value that is being removed or something like that, right? Uh, up to you, up to you. You can architect this, engineer this the way you want. All right, so first of all, I think we need to do another uh, panic check here because we cannot remove things that actually are not, uh, if the index is too high, we need to warn the user for it. And again, you could return an error for this, right? So the user can actually handle the error, but that's up to you. <coughs> we're gonna basically loop here and we're gonna say, we're gonna loop again over the L data, the length of the data inside of our list. And we are gonna say that if the, and again, this needs to be an iterator. So we're gonna call it it, you can call it X, you can call it whatever you want but I'm calling it it from iterator. We're gonna say if the iterator equals the index we wanna remove, we are gonna do some slice tricks. We're gonna say that L data equals append. Uh, we could do two things. We could actually delete it without preserving order of the slice, but we can also do a bit more comp uh, uh, compu com computational um, operation, which is basically remove something from a slice by creating a new one actually. Uh, that's what we're gonna do, uh, but that preserves the order, and I think it's a very good API to preserve the order. So we're gonna say append is gonna be l data it. I think it's uh, l data it like this, and then it's gonna be l data it plus one, and then to this. I think that should work. <clears throat> Let's test this. So we have, this is going to be uh, zero, this is going to be one, and this is going to be two, right? So we're going to say glist remove and remove me uh, one, right? Let's go run main.go this real quick. Bob bar, that's perfectly fine. Foo is gone, foo is house is going home. Let's make another one. This is gonna be three actually. It's gonna be Foo, Bar, and maybe Alice. And I'm gonna remove Foo, and we're also gonna remove Bar to test this real quick. Uh, hop, wait, what's going on here? I think I did not save it. And I have my tab open. Yes, better. Uh, so we're gonna say go run main.go, and Bob and Bar, and Alice is gone. Why is that? Yeah, it's perfectly normal because, yeah, we removed this, right? Uh, because we removed one and then we removed two, which is basically zero, one, two, and Alice is gonna be in the place. Mm. So it's working perfectly fine. All right, so we have this remove. What we also could do is basically, instead of removing by uh, index, we could also remove by value, right? Um, because sometimes maybe we get Alice from our database or something and we don't know what uh, what index Alice is stored in the slice. So we could do remove by uh, value, which I think is going to be something like this. Um, L generic list. You could say remove by value. And then you could say uh, value is going to be T, right? Like this. Let's loop up a little shortcut. That's only the only uh, snippet I use for the for loops. We're gonna say len data, len l data rather, and then we're gonna say um, if if value equals l data y. Uh, then we can actually do the same thing. So we're gonna actually copy our uh, snippet here. And of course, this could be Y, Y, and that should work. So, and that's the reason why we need a comparable, right? Because if we change this uh, to, for example, any, right? If we change this to any, it's perfectly fine, but this will not work, you see? 
So now it's telling us uh, that invalid operation cannot compare value, right? That's because the compiler does not know what it's going to be. And if we tell it that it needs to be a comparable like this, then it knows this is comparable and it works just fine. So let's do the same thing. We have Bob, Foo, Bar, and Alice. Let's say we want to remove uh, Foo and we rem want to remove Alice from our slice. We need to say remove by uh, value like this. Remove by value like that. And then we're going to go run main. Go. And then Bob and Bar are the only one. So this was our implementation of a generic list. Let me know in the comments what extra functionality you would add to make this list even better. And if you like this video, if you like the content I am providing to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, ring the notifications bell, and I'm looking forward to see you in one of my live streams. Bye-bye.